In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down a 4-6 bear blitz that is really, really effective against the gun bunch, really effective against max protect type of offenses. So let's jump into the video. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my YouTube channel today. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I do Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day here on YouTube. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner corner of your screen because I upload new videos, new tips every single day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time if you're interested. We have our uh, Super Bowl championship of our PS4 uh, CFM, uh, CFM League and winner of tonight's game uh, that we'll be streaming tonight at 10 is going to win $100 cash um, for the championship prize. So um, if you're interested, come by the stream. Also, research shows that only 40% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed to me. So I'd highly encourage you, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk through a bear blitz. Now, I've been running the 46 playbook all season long. I actually have a full defensive ebook out on this entire playbook showing you a ton of different things from the 4-6, the 3-4 bear, the nickel 3-5 normal, and nickel 3-5 wide, big nickel over G, all of those different defenses, right? Um, but what I like to do is occasionally, when I want to really put some pressure on my opponent and he's been doing a lot of max protect uh, against some of my nickel blitzes and things like that, then I'll shift into this 46 bear um, and what I like to do is I like to audible to it from the 4-6 normal because what I can do in the 4-6 normal is I can flick the right stick to the right and see here it's going to put a speed package in there and that's going to basically be able to give me like super, super fast like corners and safeties and things like that. So in my audibles for the 4-6 bear, I put the play in their slant weak and um, it's a very simple pressure that we're going to be able to run. But basically what you're going to ha have happen here is you might come out and like cover to invert or something like that, right? And then what you're going to do is you're just going to click over by one to audible to the slant weak. And all you're going to do when you audible is you're going to basically globally blitz all of your linebackers straight down. And then you're just going to man line and press. That's literally it. And then from there, uh, what I like to do is I like to basically take this I like to crash my line out and then I'm going to take this defensive end right here and I'm going to man him up on the running back so really the only person that we have to keep responsible for is this tight end other than that everything's going to be manned up if they max protect then that defensive end is actually going to blitz which is really a nice feature of the 46 bear so you're going to see here we're going to get um, we're sending seven at seven and we should be able to get one guy in completely free and there you see we get that edge guy coming off the edge completely free. Now, as far as where you want to stand with your user, um, in my opinion, what you want to do is you want to stand, you want to stand kind of like right here. Um, now, some people, um, some people would tell you that you, um, I think I messed my blitz up. Did I call, I, oh, I came out on the wrong blitz. I'm sorry. Let's see here. That's completely the wrong blitz. Let's let's reset that. Um, but basically, what you want to do is you want to stand. Um, you want to stand. I like to stand right over the center. I think it helps with like run defense um, a ton, actually. So if you're, you know, if they're under, if they're, you know, a threat of running a base or something on you, because um, that's what a lot of people actually like to do, then I would recommend, you know, just kind of being a little bit savvy about how you go about this here. But again, basically what we're doing here, we got these guys all manned up and we've, we've pressed, you want to press until all the linebackers come in the gap. So you want the linebackers in the gap, it's just going to make the pressure faster. And then, like I said, the last step is to blitz your user and then you're going to basically man up that running back because if the running back goes on at a route, then that defensive lineman won't blitz. So like right here, I'll show you, I put the running back on a route right and if the, if the running back goes on a route the defensive lineman if you put a linebacker in that position he'll cover him fine i mean he'll be able to basically lock that running back up and you'll still get that plus one advantage and you'll still be able to take everything away that's why i really like the four six bear version of this blitz um because of the fact that you can do that right there like your ability to take away the flat route to the running back is absolutely critical because really what you're going to have now the beauty of this is all you're really going to have to worry about once you get all these guys in their gaps, right? 
all you're going to have to worry about is the tight end. That's the only route that you're going to have to worry about. So, like, if the tight end goes on a little out route or something, then you just sprint at the tight end. That's kind of your user responsibility. Obviously, you don't want to, like, trip and fall down. But it makes this pressure really, 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 I think, powerful. Um, it also allows you to get for the, the speed package so you can get linebackers on your field, uh, which I think is really, really cool. And then what's really nice that you can do with this with this play is – Let's say you're. Let's say you want to play zone coverage out of this, right? Well, it's relatively simple. All you got to do is simply go to cover three here, and then just blitz the middle linebacker until he goes down in the box. And then, as you see here, he's down in the box now. So what I like to do, I actually like to do something like this um, against Gun Bunch. You can have like this little look right here, okay? But once you put that middle linebacker down in the gap. Then what I like to do is I like to basically create a Mabel coverage on the the uh, right side of the field. So you'll see I'm going to take the linebacker, put him into a, uh, a hard flat, as you can see right here. And then the other linebacker, I'm going to take him and I'm going to probably put him in some type of uh, bluff, you know, hard flat. You could put him in a middle third. Um, you could do a lot of different things. But if you're doing something like that, if you're playing zone coverage from this, I would recommend leaving this safety over here on the left side so that you can play a Mabel coverage um, on that side as well. So basically, this is just simply cover three invert. I've created a Mabel concept. Um, and then all I'm going to do is just rush two. And now from the same, basically from the same exact look, they're going to max protect. You're rushing two. You get really good sheds from 4-6 bear, in my opinion. So you're going to be able to do some of those things. What's really nice about it is, again, when you audible from 4-6 speed, you're getting your best players on the field. Um, I actually really like it if you go, like, let's say you go to slant week three, right? And let's just say, um, for the sake of this video, you know, we're going to base a line, right? And then we unbase a line and do that right there, okay? If you do that, then you're still going to have that plus one matchup. So you could basically come over here with this guy right here and this blitz right here is darn near impossible it's, it's impossible to really pick up like there's not really a great way for them to do anything to pick this up as you can see right here you're getting a plus one advantage every single time it's completely free completely untouched at the quarterback and he's really really fast right because you're playing mutt he's gonna have like 95 speed something like that like crazy and then the cool part is you're in four six speed so you can basically do all kinds of things I mean you can go to you can do the same concept um, you can also do kind of the same concept from the 4-6 bear under. If I aud audible to, um, to gap press right here, you'll see that you can basically do um, the same, essentially the same concept. The one problem with this uh, play from 4-6 bear under is they don't always go like where you want them to go. Um, and really what you're going to do is you're probably going to use this, this middle linebacker in reality because you want this guy to go down here. And basically this is the same theory. It's just you're sending seven at seven, right? Um, the one thing with this is I don't think the pressure works quite as well um, as the, as it does from the other one. But you do get a linebacker that you can man up here on this guy. So if he does block, the one issue with that is the linebacker doesn't always blitz. So that's why I like the 4-6 bear a little bit better than the bear under. I think the bear under gives you a little bit better alignment. So you could play like like you, your safeties are in a pretty good position. Um you know, you could play um, like cover two. Like you, you could easily play cover two with this defense um, and basically stand like right in this little gap right here and create some e some some decent pressure. The one problem with this is now you're only sending six. So if they block seven, at, you, you know, you're going to get sheds, but you're not going to get that instant pressure that we want to be able to put on our opponent. So that's why I prefer the 4-6 bear over the 4-6 bear under, but both are in my defensive ebook. If you want to get the full scheme from this, um, just click the link in the description. Uh, my ebook is, is right there for you to be able to pick it up. If you have any questions about this blitz, just shoot me a text message. But this is how to get pressure at a max protect type of deal, especially against like Gun Bunch or Gun U Trip, some of the things like that. And what you'll notice really quickly, I don't know if I talked about this, but what a lot of people will try to do, uh, at least some of the pros, will try to basically max protect. So essentially, they're going to max protect, right? But then what they're going to do is they're going to kind of take it a little bit of a step further and they're going to basically send two people out on routes. So I'll show you what that looks like. And essentially they're going to block this guy right here. 
and you'll notice that he'll sometimes pick it up, but he really doesn't oftentimes pick that up at all. Um, right there, I think that was kind of a perfect storm. One of the things that's hard for me to show uh, with this blitz because I'm trying to do the motion snap and show you it at the same time, uh, one of the things that's going to be a little bit challenging for me is just to be able to um, is just just to be able to get this off. So, for example, like if 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 he's max protecting right, and then he motions Godwin, okay, typically they're going to motion them all the way to the left and kind of snap like right there. But it's kind of hard to get that motion snap and user rush with or not user rush, but user um, basically user hold the gap. So, you know, just kind of be aware of that. And most of the time, if they send this guy out on a route, most of the time it's going to be the slot receiver. Um, or not the slot receiver. Um, so they're going to motion block Brown most of the time. Uh, it's been my experience. So, again, just motion him in, block him. And you'll see, I mean, it does pick it up. But what you can do is you can actually click the right joystick in and send another guy if you want. And I'm telling you from personal experience running this blitz in weekend league this weekend, um, it doesn't really pick it up like it, it kind of does right it kind of looks like it does but it really doesn't like super super pick it up so that's just something you know that you guys can can um can think about but as you can see here i think this blitz is just super effective um so if you want to gas them up send send seven um it's really really good here's one real quick note about it you want to be changing your coverage behind it you don't always want to be in man coverage you don't always want to be in zone coverage the trick with this is the illusion and some of the things that you can give make the make the offense have to think about, right? Because the offense is going to have to really be selective with the three or four routes that they put on the field. Um, and so you're probably going to see a lot of flat routes. You're probably going to see a lot of slant routes, a lot of crossing routes, things like that. So you have to be prepared for those type of routes um, when you're running this blitz. So my suggestion is to just mix your coverages up. Um, take advantage of doing occasionally, like I'll show you real quickly, um, one of the things that I'll occasionally do um, is depending on the depending on the defense, right? Uh, I don't know why that linebacker does that. I think it's I think it's because I let's see here. There we go. Okay. So if I go to four six bears slant week three, there we go. All right. So one of the things else one of the things I will do occasionally, right? Because I can man this side up, I feel like I have the left side pretty much taken away. Now I just have to play a little bit of a defense on the right side. So one of the things that I really like to do is I, I want to basically force them to throw a crossing route right at my user. So I'm going to take this this uh, safety right here, and I'm going to put him on an inside third. And then this outside uh, receiver here, 81, uh, or outside corner, I'm going to put him on a soft squat. And yes, I would be vulnerable if they were to basically like run like a, a four verticals concept. I could be vulnerable on the right side. But what you'll notice is a lot of times you're going to get a lot of crossing routes and deep post routes. So if they do something like that, you'll look here and I'll show you there's nothing open. If you actually go back and look at this play, and this is this wide receiver post play is actually something that is really common for people to try to do. They're going to run a skinny post. They're going to run a crossing route, and then they might run like a little quick flat route to the tight end or to, to the slot. That's what I would do. Um, but what you'll see right here is look at this. What's open? I mean, it, it really doesn't look like much is open. Now, the one thing that is open is that post route, but that's because we didn't shade coverage up. You want What I would recommend, uh, if you were serious about running this against bunch, I think it's actually a really good bunch defense. Um, but basically, what I, what I would do, I don't know why that linebacker is doing that. There we go. Let's get him in the gap. Sometimes if the linebacker doesn't go in the gap, you just have to reset him. But we're going to blitz them all, and then we're going to man that guy up. So... The, the man up of the running back pretty much takes away the running back route. Like the running back's not going to be a threat to you because of that right there, which is huge. It gives you another person to be able to do coverage with. So from this point right here, I'm going to shade coverage up so that my man coverage plays shaded up. Okay. Then what I'm, and, and typically what I'll do is I'll actually shade inside and up just so I can kind of have a better defense against post routes. Then what I'll do is then I'll make my adjustments on these guys. So now they're in their coverage without the shaded coverage over top ruining what I'm doing over there. And now what you'll see if you watch this, pretty much everything's going to be covered. I mean, there's nothing really. Um, I think I actually like literally. I think Brady like broke the sack, but which is which is kind of not. I mean, I wouldn't worry too much about that in an actual game mode because what you'll see here is instant pressure. I don't know what 96 is doing. 
Um, I probably didn't, like, I don't think I usered down enough to get that right edge, so that was probably the issue. Um, but anyway, but what you'll see is oftentimes the running back will try to go block that guy, which is really, really nice, because he doesn't even, like, really, he's really not even a threat. Like, that's the funny part is he's really not even a threat, but um, he just he just takes that running back out of the way. But anyways, if you look at the coverage of this right here, like, you're able to pretty much take stuff away, which I really, really like that. So this is the 4-6 Bear, just a little sneak peek. Um, if you want to get the rest of the ebook, it's in the description. I think 4-6 Bear and 3-4 Bear combined together uh, with 4-6 Speed, there's some really good things you can do from a pressure perspective. So I think they're really, really good. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hope you like the defense. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, and I think it's actually really good with the new AP changes because you could put one step ahead on all your corners. Um, and then you could also put like Acrobat on them as well. So they play really well in zone coverage. That's what I plan on doing. But thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys uh, on tonight's live stream. We're streaming the playoffs. So hopefully you come by. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, that link's in the description. And one last thing, seriously, if you haven't subscribed yet and you've been to this point in the video, I'd highly encourage you to subscribe. We have really, really good tips and tricks in my opinion. And uh, we've been able to help a lot of people get better over the over the course of the season. So it's been a great, um, great first half of the season. Really excited to make a big push in January. We've got some really good stuff coming for you guys in 2021. Thanks a lot for watching today's video, and we'll see you tonight.